Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For this video, we will study about electron configuration and the Lewis electron dot structure. The electron configuration of an element describes how electrons are distributed in its atomic orbitals. Electron configurations of atoms follow a standard notation in which all electron-containing atomic subshells with the number of electrons they hold written in superscript are placed in a sequence. Electron configurations are useful for, first, determining the valency of an element, and second, predicting the properties of a group of elements, wherein elements with similar electron configurations tend to exhibit similar properties. Mnemonics for electron distribution include the orbital names S, P, D, and F. Stand for the line group sharp, principal, diffuse, and fundamental. Electron configuration describes the way that electrons are distributed in the orbitals of a given molecule. This mnemonic can be used to easily determine the electron configuration of an element. SPDF designates subshells. S subshells hold one orbital, P holds three, D holds 5, and F holds 7. Each orbital holds a maximum of 2 electrons. Therefore, S subshells hold a maximum of 2 electrons, P is 6, D is 10, and F is 14. However, the standard notation often yields lengthy electron configurations, especially for elements having a relatively large atomic number. In such cases, an abbreviated or condensed notation may be used instead of the standard notation. Just like in the given example, instead of writing the whole electron configuration of aluminum, it can be written as Ne3S2-3P1 since neon has the first three sets of the electron configuration. Same also with calcium, it can be written as Ar4S2. Let's write the electron configuration of sodium, since sodium has an atomic number of 11. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s1. On the first energy level, we have 2 electrons. On the second energy level, we have 8 electrons because we have 2 and 6. Both are located on the second energy level, and then on our last energy shell, we have 1. And this one electron here on the outermost shell of the element sodium is what we call the valence electron. But what is valence electron? Using electron configuration, we can identify the valence electron of an element. Valence electrons is the electrons in the outermost shell or valence shell. Just like in our example a while ago, in sodium, it has a valence electron of 1. Based on the examples, sodium has a valence electron of 1, located at the last energy level, while chlorine has a valence electrons of 7, because there are 2 electrons located at the S sublevel and 5 electrons located at P sublevel. Both S and P sublevels are located on the last energy level. Another thing to remember is the octet rule. The octet rule refers to the tendency of atoms to prefer to have 8 electrons in the valence shell. When atoms have fewer than 8 electrons, they tend to react and form more stable compounds. If an atom doesn't follow the octet rule, sometimes atoms gain or lose electrons. These atoms are then called ions. Positive ion occurs when an atom loses an electron, meaning it has more protons than electrons, while negative ion occurs when an atom gains an electron, meaning it will have more electrons than protons. Lewis electron dot structure, or LEDs, is a representation in which the symbol of the element is surrounded by its valence electrons. These are examples of some elements in the periodic table surrounded by their own valence electrons. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.